Hello guys, Zyga here, and welcome back to episode 2 of making a multiplayer game in Core. Now previously, we set up the whole main logic for this deathmatch multiplayer game. So if you haven't seen that episode, be sure to check it out with the link in the description below. Now, I'm just going to quickly clarify, this video is sponsored by Core, so if you want to go ahead and download it, there will be links in the description below. Anyway guys, in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make the map and the layout for the game. I should also mention that the map you make and the layout you make is completely up to you. You can be however creative you want, because I'm gonna be making my map you can go ahead and just follow me step by step if you want but once again you can make things yourself so without further ado let's begin okay so I'm first of all gonna show you where you can go ahead and put in props and buildings and stuff so on the left right here we have a thing called 3d objects if we open that up you will see w there is a lot of 3d objects now there is these subcategories such as 3d text nature props tile sets etc etc now if you want to add this into your game all you've got to do is find something you like like this dresser and just drag it in then you can obviously move it wherever you want rotate it and stuff like that Let's go ahead and delete that though because I don't really need a dresser in my game. Now in terms of the layout, once again, you can have whatever layout you want, but I'm going to make the layout pretty simple. So this is my plane right here which we started off with, and as you can see it already has a material on. So let me show you how you can go ahead and put a material on your plane because it probably won't have one right yet. You can go down here to this material section, and in here you will see plenty of materials that you can go ahead and use on literally anything. And once you find something that you like, for example, this asphalt, I can just drag it on and boom, we have a nice plane. Pretty simple. So go ahead and play around with this to however much you want. And yeah, but that's basically it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just making the basic layout of the map. Okay, so after clicking on the basic shapes bit, I'm going to be using these basic shapes and applying my own materials to them to make it a little bit more personalized. Okay, so I've dragged this arc in and I'm going to have this as my middle piece of the map. So let's go ahead and rotate it so it's flat like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of it so it's a little bit bigger, like so maybe. And I'm just going to put this in the middle of my map. I should also mention I have moved my spawn point because we don't want to spawn inside of this. So let's press play and see if we can fit under it. So we can no problem fit under it and this is pretty good because we'll be able to go ahead and crouch here for example and shoot people from afar. Pretty cool. Okay, so what I've done is I've put in some prisms and I've just duplicated them to make this sort of pillar. So it's a little bit of a mess in our hierarchy. So let's right click and create a new folder. And let's just call this pillar. In here, I'm just going to drag my prisms and boom, we can close that and it's a lot neater. I can then just duplicate this and make another pillar if I want. So let's just duplicate that and there we go. Pretty neat. Now, I want my map to be symmetrical, so I'm just going to be basically duplicating everything to make it symmetrical. <laughs> I'm going to finish off by chucking a plane on the top and just changing the size of it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created these walls and I'm going to put them all the way around the map. Now, if you're wondering how to make this, it's very, very simple. Drag in a cube of choice, then click this little button to scale or just press R. I've gone ahead and reduced the scaling to make it less thicker, increase the length and increase the height and bam, we've got a wall basically. Okay, so at this point we have some walls around our map so we can't fall out. But let's go ahead and make this a little bit cleaner. So once again, I'm going to right click on the hierarchy and press new folder. And I'm going to call this folder walls. I'm also going to drag all these walls which are just cubes and I'm going to put this in the folder. I can then close it and it's a lot easier because if I want to go ahead and hide it, I can just hide the whole folder instead. Pretty neat. But let's continue making the layout for this map. So I want a wall in the middle of my map just to sort of divide the parts of the map as I said. So we're going to use this cube bottom aligned. Let's drag this in and scale it to whatever we want. I want it to be a little bit longer, maybe a little bit less thick and just this height maybe. Let's drag this down. I'm going to make sure that it's a little bit in the ground so that you can go ahead and basically peek over it. But let's just make the height a little bit bigger. Like so is pretty good. Let's go ahead and duplicate this by pressing Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. And there we go. Now I want some walls on these sides as well. So let's press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's drag this out a little bit and let's rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it like so and drag this wherever I want it. So the map is looking pretty cool, but we need some more divisions and some more interest in the map because it looks a little bit plain right now. So let's add maybe some ramps or something. All right, so there's these cool wedges and I'm going to use them as a way for players to be able to peek over the edge. So let's rotate this like so. 
and let's increase its size. Now I'm gonna drag the size from this white box. Now the reason for this is because I want it to basically scale on all sides at the same speed and size basically. So let's just drag this up a bit, like so, and let's bring this up to the wall. Now I've gone ahead and decreased the size a little bit and I went ahead and put it a bit inside the wall like so just to make it look a little bit cleaner. So let's go ahead and copy those like so. Now what I want to do is I want to have them the same on the other side. So let's go ahead and click on them, press Control C and then Control V and drag them over. Now I'm only going to keep them on this side to make this side a little bit more different to the other sides I guess. Now a lot of the time in maps, like for example in CSGO and other games as such, there is boxes that you can go ahead and hide behind, and those are a typically good idea. So let's drag these boxes in, press the size, and increase the size a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate some of them around the map so the player can go ahead and hide behind them. After making all the boxes, I want to go ahead and duplicate them. Now to do this really easily, I'm going to press this cube right here, press shift and click the top one, press ctrl c, ctrl v and paste them around. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then just move it to wherever I want it. Let's make sure it's in the same area though. So this side is looking a little bit empty, so we can go ahead and fill it up with some other stuff. So I'm first of all gonna copy these cubes because I basically just want these over there as well. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, let's drag them in. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and let's drag them on the other side. Now if we go into play mode, let's have a look at this map. So the map is looking pretty cool. We can go ahead and, you know, run around and stuff, hide under here. Pretty awesome. Now I can see this is a little bit too low down, so let's go ahead and move this up a little bit. Maybe something like so. Let's press play again and let's take a look. So we can actually now go through the middle of this, which is pretty nice. And we can also come here. I guess the only issue right now is the fact that you can just stand on the roof and see loads of people. So let's go ahead and add some more areas that people can hide in. So first of all, I'm going to grab these pillars that obviously I've put in folders. I'm going to grab all four of them by pressing one and then shift clicking, pressing Control C, Control V and duplicating them and putting them to the top. I'm then going to use a cube. So let's scroll up and find ourselves a cube like this one. And I'm going to drag it up here. Let's change the size so it's a little bit longer, maybe something like so. And let's just go ahead and change the width so it's like so, and the height is a little bit too big. So let's now drag it on top of those prisms. Like so, let's just make it a little bit even and down a bit like that. There we go, it's looking a little bit more interesting right now. So let's press play and have a look what it looks like. Okay, so that looks definitely a lot more interesting, although I can spawn here and just kind of sit there and shoot people. So let's just go ahead and make some more hidden areas, I guess. So I'm going to copy this wall, pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and I'm just going to go ahead and drag one of these walls in here like so. This basically is going to help me to not be able to peek as many areas. Now to make it a little bit more symmetrical on the other side, I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and paste it to the other side as well. Finally, I'm going to press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and paste one at the back as well. And I'm going to do the same for this one right here. There we go. The map is definitely looking a little bit more interesting once again. Um, I just want to clarify, you can literally do anything you want. This is the map that I'm making. But once again, feel free to do whatever you want. So I'm going to leave it at that. I think the map looks pretty good and I don't want it to be too clustered. So let's now add some materials to it. So click on your little materials tab and literally choose any material that you want. So I'm going to choose these big stone bricks for the outside and I actually want them to tile like this, right? how they are right now. I like the kind of big chunky effect that they make. In terms of these little walls, I'm going to add this kind of brick because I really like the way it looks. So I'm going to add it to all of these little walls that I've put around, like so. Now for the boxes themselves, I want some sort of wood material. So let's go ahead and find one that I like. So there's a bunch of wood materials right here, so let's maybe choose this wood plank. I think this one looks quite nice. So I'm just going to drag this material onto all of the blocks. Now that is pretty neat but we still have this little area and the ramps so let's go ahead and apply any material that we want. I'm just going to add this little concrete because I think that looks pretty cool. And for the middle part let's go ahead and maybe do a little bit of maybe do the brick thing again and for and I'm going to add this just really basic one for the pillars because I think that's going to make them look quite nice. So I'll add this to all of the pillars. Alright, finally I'm going to add this asphalt to the top bits 
like so. So our map has materials and it's looking a lot nicer. But there is other stuff that we can add. There is a bunch of cool decorations and things that we can add around the map to make it feel more alive. Now I will be doing an episode where I'm going to be talking about basically polishing the game and adding some cool stuff in but make sure to feel free to add whatever stuff you want so i am going to add a few things in and i will then cut back and show you what i've done okay guys so some stuff has changed as you can see i've basically added a bunch of nature props and i've changed the material of the bottom from cement to grass so if you want to add this stuff go into basic shapes click on nature and there's a bunch of nature stuff like here and if you're wondering the material that I use, I went into materials and I've basically just used this grass basic. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Now make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for episode 3 and 4. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below and yeah, just subscribe. Also, don't forget to download Core with the link in the description below or go to corgames.com. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye! I also want to give special thanks to my Patreons, Smoking Vita, Jan, Nicole Dance and Noob. Thank you so much for your support, I really much appreciate it.